Hey, welcome back guys. This is part five, hard mode. Yep, on my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we're going through all the chapters on hard in a nice optimal fashion. So it's a quick one, only 15 minutes long, a few battles you have to partake in near the, near the end. Quite a difficult boss. For me, this is probably the more trickiest boss so far on hard mode. He's easy, you'll see my strategy, but just to develop that strategy took me more work compared to all the bosses before this on hard mode. So once you get up here, just talk to all your teammates. You've got Red 13, Barrett, Tief and Aerith. Talk to them all and they're going to talk to the guy behind the desk. And you've got to play Queen's Blood. But you can actually forfeit the match, which is what I'll be doing. I'm not sure about you guys, but I've not quite enjoyed the Queen's Blood game that much. So I'm not going to be diving in you know, at the um, chances of playing it again. I'm just going to be forfeiting the matches. Even after doing everything related to Queen's Blood, I think I've got every single card. I feel like I still don't quite have a good understanding of it. I'm not sure. Maybe I do, so I've done them all. But yeah, once you talk with him, and you choose to play Queen's Blood, just come and talk to this one on the right, guys, and choose to forfeit. You'll forfeit the tournament. I've already won it, so I don't want to win it again. So as forfeiting, you'll be playing Red 13, which you normally have to play anyway during the story. You normally play Queen's Blood first, a tournament, and then you'll play Red 13 afterwards. Again, you can just forfeit this match once the match gets going. Yep, just press options and choose bottom option, guys. Forfeit without a rematch. That's it. Let the dog dress up as a Shimmer guard win. And then once you get control back, it's going to head back down to the deck and go for a bit of a nightcap. It's quite early in the day, it's only like 3pm, but we're going to go to bed quite early. So yes, come down here guys into the second class cabins and into the, I think it's the second door on the right. And interact with your hammock. That's it, and rest for the night. So these battles coming up, there'll be a few kind of normal enemy mob fights along the way to the boss. All I've got, I've got Petrify. I've got all three Petrifies, got a link, one link to MP Absorb, um, one link to Magic Focus, and the other one linked to Magnify. And then of course I've got Magic up on HP Boost, First Strike, and Genji Gloves, and the Rune Blade Weapon. So as soon as the fight starts, I'm just gonna spam Quake level 3 magnified and that should get rid of most of the enemies. If not, just attack him a few times, build up another ATB guys, and then do it again. So yeah, I'll show you my build now. So Cloud, Rune Blade, Genji Gloves, any armor piece which will give you 5 slots. MP Absorb link to Petrify, Magic Focus link to Petrify, ATB boost, enemy skill. Summon is Phoenix. We've got a first strike and magic up. Speed up, which you don't really need, and Petrify link to Magnify, guys. Yep, then we've got ADB charge rate up, full power magic, magic power plus 20, and attack power plus 20. And once you're ready, just come down here, and this should trigger the first fight. So, like I say, ADB boost, Quake level 3. That should get rid of them pretty quickly. This first fight, when you kill the first bunch, normally another bunch jump in, and then a third bunch will jump in after that. So yeah, use Quake 3 on the first bunch, then build up your HB gauges, use Quake level 3 again. That's it, and then build up HB gauges again. Yep, here comes another wave. You can put some abilities on your teammates if you want to. You know some materia, so not really doing much. But I was going to stick to Cloud and use some Quake level 3. There you go, use my limit break as well, which I built up from all them staggers. And that is it. No more going to spawn for the time being. Let's 
So what you do now, you head back up towards the bar and you'll find some more enemies in the left corner. Yeah, another thing I've got to put on was actually ATP Stagger because if I had ATP Stagger on in them previous enemies, each time I stagger them, I would have got a massive chunk of ATP back. So that's some else you want on guys, ATP Stagger. Yeah, so as soon as this fight starts, quite level 3. Should get rid of them pretty quick. You okay? yeah. And they crouch beneath this damaged door. And down there you'll find Tifa. So again, HP boost, Quake level 3. That's them. If you need any HP, just rest on this bench nearby. Yeah, this is why I didn't bother putting HP linked to anything. Because you can just recover your MP, uh, your HP, sorry. You can't recover MP. That's why you need the MP absorb one. So you've got plenty of H, uh, MP ready for the boss fights. And there will be another bench before the boss, by the way. So don't worry if you take a bit of damage on the way. So yeah, just rest, get your HP back. And then continue through the second class cabins. As you get to the end, you'll be ambushed again. Just use the same attack, Quake level 3. And that should almost kill him. You can use it again if you stagger them. Or build up HP. And there you go. They're dead. Just two Quake level 3s magnified. Squeeze for that gap afterwards. Continue downwards. Through this doorway guys. And you'll see Barret up ahead. Yeah this boss you kind of locked into using Cloud, Tifa and Aerith. And it's the Genova boss. So you can imagine, it's going to be tentacles all over the place. So yeah, for this fight, so again, Quake level 3, A to B boost, Quake level 3. Most of these general mobs on this level, they're not immune to stone. So if you build a Petrify, they'll turn stone eventually. Even if you do that before you actually take off all the HP. Like this guy here, I think I actually end up turning him stone. Yeah, as you can see, he turned stone. So let's continue on. You'll normally just get a few groups now like that. Two of them kind of enemy types. Yeah, let's carry on through here. So again, HP boost, Quake level 3. Quake level 3 magnified always works better when the enemies are grouped together because when one of them goes off it's got quite a big AoE and if all the enemies are kind of near the first blast it will attack, it will attack them all and obviously the second magnify will go off that will attack them all at the same time. That's like a nice chain reaction. Like I say the enemies have to be close together for it to happen. So again A to B boost Quake level 3. And one more Quake should finish him off. Right, so I think the next up is a boss. Like I say, Genova Emergent. So there's the bench. Sit at the bench, guys, get your HP back. And then we'll just get a bit close to the boss. And then I'll show my equipment loads for you guys. And of course, ready for the um, separate video I'll put out as well of the boss fight. So yeah, rest and then continue on around the corner. So this boss fight coming up, this will be Genova Emergent and follow my build very very closely here guys and my strategy, otherwise this will not work out. So I'll show my material and equipment to begin with. So Cloud Dasher Rune Blade, Setra Embracer and the Genji Gloves. He's got Magic Focus linked to Fire, MP Absorb linked to Fire. He's got HP Boost, Enemy Skill, he's got Phoenix Summon, he's got Magic Up, First Strike, Speed Up and A to B Stagger. He's got a Fire linked to HP Absorb and Fire linked to Swift Cast. He's got A to B Charge Rate up, 4 Power Magic, Magic Attack Power plus 20 and 
attack power plus 20. Like I say, this strategy is going to be very, very precise. Just try to fight as close as you can. Now, Tifa, he's got a Chucko King's Cape. Weapon don't really matter. Chucko King's Cape, Empowerment Materia, Time Materia, and First Strike. And Barrett. Yep, he's got a Tarot card. He's got a Time Materia and the Innovation Materia. Yep, so that's what he got, guys. Like I say, try to remain as closely as possible. So straight away, you switch over to Barrett. Barrett's going to do an overcharge. Then switch back to Cloud. Cloud's going to use Prime Mode. And then in the meantime, as you're controlling Cloud, just dodge away from the attacks. And then, once you can, Tifa's going to use Haste on Cloud. And also, she's going to use Faith on Cloud as well. In this cloud, you're still dodging the attacks. Then once got all them active, wait for an opportunity. And then Barrett's going to use the shell on the boss. Yeah, Barrett used the shell on the boss. And then like I say again, once you get an opportunity in between attacks, build up two ATBs with cloud. You've got all the buffs active, which you need now. And of course, debuff on the boss. Then once you've built up two ATBs, do fire level three on the boss. That'll pressure him. Now attack the head. Make sure you use some prime mode and hold in square, guys. That combo which builds up a lot of ATB and also triggers Fury. And then once you destroy the heads and build up another two ATB, use fire level three which should stagger him. Once staggered, quickly build up two ATB again and use fire level three. And then and again, quickly build up another ATB, another two ATB, sorry, ready for when he goes into his second phase. At this point, his health should be near the M in his name, and you should have two ATBs ready and be in Fury mode. You're in prime mode, but you've got Fury active. Now, as soon as your next fight starts, you can use fire level 3. And then you want to do a quick combo to build up one HP gauge. I messed it up a little bit, so I wasn't quite close enough. So yeah, start it with fire level 3. As you see there, my first few attacks completely missed. So yeah, let's build up one HP quickly. Trigger Fury. That's it. As soon as you've got one HP, dodge away. Use HP boost to turn that into two. And then use fire level 3 again. But this time, use it on the left shoulder. The left shoulder takes more damage than what the head does. So always go for the left shoulder when you've got one of each available. That's it. I should have knocked him into his third face. And this face is really simple. So to begin with, you're going to use stop as Barrett. So in the meantime, you've left your party members and they build up an HP gauge each. So yeah, Barrett's going to use stop on the boss. While he is stopped, Cloud's going to build up two HP in Prime mode, or should trigger Fury as well. And then he's going to use Fire Level 3 on the boss. And then again, he's going to build up 2 HP again, do another Fire Level 3. Again, make sure you hit the left shoulder, guys, for more, for more damage. And once that stop wears off when you press him, Tifa's going to use stop. And then just build up 2 HPs again, guys, another Fire Level 3, and that'll finish him off. Yeah, lob it out the head. And there you go, Genova, Emergent. Very nice way to do him, Black say. For that to work out that way, you need to follow my command very closely until I do exactly the same timing as such. So yep, yeah, Genova Emergent guys, defeated. And that actually marks the end of chapter 5 as well. Take you straight into chapter 6. And ready for the next video. So thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.